if you threw every city in Alberta into a wrestling ring, who is going to come out on top? Well, today we are talking about not just one city, but five cities that are better than all the rest in Alberta. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you are new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Brian Garside. I'm a real estate agent with eXp Realty based here in Edmonton, Alberta. And on this channel, I talk about everything you need to know about living in Edmonton and beyond all throughout Alberta. So if that sounds like content that you are interested in, go ahead and click the subscribe button so that you are the first to find out when we post more content about living in Edmonton and all of Alberta. If you are thinking about moving to Alberta, I want you to reach out to me so that we can figure out how we can make your Alberta homeownership dreams a reality. Whether you're moving next week, next month, or next year, I'd love to hear from you so we can make that possible for you. Now, without any further ado, let's get into the top five cities in Alberta in 2022. And the number five city in Alberta is Lacombe, Alberta. Now, you've probably never heard of Lacombe. It's not really very well known outside of Alberta, but it is consistently ranked as one of the top cities to live in in Alberta and one of the top cities to live in in all of Canada. Now, Lacombe is pretty centrally located in the province. It's almost smack in the middle of Edmonton and Calgary, right outside of the city of Red Deer. Lacombe's one of the smallest cities on our list today. It's got about 14,000 residents. It has an average household income of about $92,000. And the average single family home costs about $400,000 in Lacombe. That's the cheapest we're going to see today. It is a very affordable home market in Lacombe. Now, one of the cons about being in Lacombe, it's in the prairies, right? It's not very close to anything. Now, if you're a fan of the suburban lifestyle, if you like being in the middle of nowhere, if you like being by yourself and with your neighbors developing that tight knit community, then maybe Lacombe is the place for you. But if you like the city living, if you like having all the amenities at your fingertips, then Lacombe might not be the city for you. Now, one of the quick pros about living in Lacombe is that it does have a very low cost of living. It's a very affordable city for young people, for families, maybe for retired people as well. But Lacombe is a very affordable city to live in. And our number four city in Alberta, now, I'm going to get a lot of hate for this one. I've met a lot of people who love this city. As much as I tried to base this list off of facts and statistics, there is some subjectivity that goes into this. Everybody's preferences are different living in a city. But number four is going to be Calgary, Alberta. Now, I've met a lot of people from Calgary. I know lots of people who live there. They love the city. They're never going to leave. It's not for everybody. Calgary has a population of about 1.3 million people. It is the largest city in the province. The average household income in Calgary is $105,000 and the average single family home is going to cost you about $515,000. So it is more expensive than some of the other cities on this list. Now a quick con about living in Calgary, it does have high unemployment rates compared to other cities in Canada. In fact, just recently it was the highest unemployment rate in all of Canada. Calgary's economy is not very diverse. So when those economies aren't doing well, the unemployment rates tend to be quite high. Now, this doesn't happen all the time. One of the pros of living in Calgary is that it's a clean, vibrant city. There are lots of young professionals and young families living in Calgary. It is a very clean city and it has great proximity to the mountains. Banff National Park is just about a 45 minute drive away. So if you love being close to nature, if day or weekend mountain trips to go hiking or camping is your thing, then you're going to love living in Calgary. And our number three top city to live in in Alberta. I'm a little bit biased here. It's where I'm from. It's where I was raised, but is Edmonton, Alberta. Now, Edmonton is the capital city here in Alberta. It's got about a million people living in the city itself. The average household income in Edmonton is about $98,000. The average single family home is going to cost you about $425,000. Now, if I had to give a quick con about living in Edmonton, we do tend to have higher crime rates here in Edmonton. It's one of the higher crime rates in Canada in terms of major cities. Now, this does tend to be centrally located. If you know where to go, this isn't going to impact your day-to-day -day life. But it is something you need to know before you decide to move to Edmonton. Now, one of the pros about living in Edmonton is that we have more parkland. We have more green space per resident than any other city in Canada. If you love being next to nature, if you want your city to be green and lush, lots of trees, walking trails, ravines, and parks, then Edmonton is the city for you. And if you want to know more about living in Edmonton, that's what this channel is about. Go ahead and click the card up here so that you can see the top 
reasons to live in Edmonton in 2022. And that leads us to our number two best city to live in in Alberta, and that is Canmore, Alberta. Now, if you don't know about Canmore, you are missing out. Canmore is about 30 minutes outside of Calgary. It is just bordering on Banff National Park. Canmore is a beautiful mountain town nestled in the Rocky Mountains. It's got a population of about 14,000 people, so it's close to the same size as Lacombe. The average household income in Canmore is $115,000, but the average single family home is gonna run you about a million dollars. Now you already know what the con I'm gonna talk about is, it is a very high cost of living. The average single family home is high, as well as your daily expenses like groceries and utilities. It costs to live this close to the mountains. But obviously the pro is that you are this gorgeous mountain town. You are living in the mountains. If you love recreation, if you love being in the mountains, hiking, and you don't want to have to drive to get there, then Canmore is the city for you. Now, before we get into the top city to live in, in Alberta, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you are interested in knowing everything there is to know about living in Edmonton and Alberta as a whole. And like this video if you found value in this content. It'll help other people who are interested in this type of content be able to find the channel as well. Now let's get into the top city to live in in Alberta. And it was recently ranked by many different independent sources as one of the best cities to live in in Canada, much less Alberta. And that is St. Albert, Alberta. Now, if you don't know about St. Albert, it's one of the suburbs of Edmonton. It's just northwest of the city of Edmonton. It's got about 70,000 residents. So it's kind of a middle ground between your smaller cities here and your bigger cities in Alberta. The average household income is $150,000 in St. Albert. That is the highest that we have here on the list by far. Now the average single family home is gonna cost you about $550,000. So it's not quite Canmore, it's not that million dollar single family home, but it is higher than all the other ones on this list. Now if I had to pick a con, there's not much you can pick out with St. Albert. We are gonna take a look at that average single family home costing higher than these other cities. But it's hard to say that when the average household income is higher than these other cities as well. Now, if you have to pick a pro, there is a lot going on in St. Albert. It's why it's so well respected by all these different independent sources. St. Albert has great schools, low unemployment rates, low crime rates, lots of nature and walking trails throughout the city. And it even has Western Canada's largest weekly running farmer's market. So St. Albert is obviously our top city here in Alberta, and it is one of the top cities in all of Canada. Now, if you're interested in making a move to any of these cities or anywhere here in Alberta, go ahead and reach out to me. Whether you want to move next week, next month, or next year, we can help make your Alberta home ownership goals a reality. Go ahead and click the subscribe button so that you can find out before anybody else when we post more content about living here in Alberta. And like this video if you found value from this content so that other people can find it as well. Thanks for sticking around. Go ahead and click one of these cards so that you can see more of our content and we'll see you in the next one.